children today we learn another measure of dispersion which is known as standard deviation right now what is standard deviation standard deviation was introduced by Carl Pearson in 1893 right he was the economist Carl Pearson and he introduced this concept of standard deviation and when did he do, uh, introduced it 1893 now it is also called root mean square deviation this is another name for standard deviation in short we call it standard deviation but another name is root mean square deviation because under root is taken in this out of the square deviations it is denoted by greek letter sigma so this is about standard deviation in brief now we'll see the meaning of standard deviation standard deviation is the square root of the mean of the squares of deviations of items from their arithmetic mean so here in this case the deviations are always taken from arithmetic mean so standard deviation is the square root of the mean of the squares of deviations of items from their arithmetic mean this is the definition of square deviation and we'll learn the calculation and then it is more clear to you the square of standard deviation is sometimes also called variance right sometimes it is also known as variance the square of standard deviation standard deviation is known as root mean square deviation and square of standard deviation is known as variance now let us see the calculation in case of individual series by direct method you remember the direct method means when the deviations are taken from actual mean in the case of indirect method deviations are taken from assumed mean so this is the direct method of calculating standard deviation what are the steps first calculate mean value of all items of series we have to take the mean value considering the items of the series taking into consideration all the items of the series and taking on taking out the actual mean value so calculate mean value of all items of the series second find out deviations from mean that is dx is equal to x minus x bar so here deviations are always taken from actual mean it is labeled as dx which is x minus x bar then third step obtain sigma dx when we got dx then obtain total of dx and find out sigma dx square right because it is square deviation so find out sigma dx square next step divide sigma dx square by number of items number of items or you know that is n right now next step find out square root of the mean of square deviations square deviations what you have calculated this one find out the square root of the mean of square deviations now this is the formula sd this is sigma sign as i told you there it's a greek letter sign sigma or sd is equal to sigma d square upon n under root under root of sigma d square upon n or it is equal to under root of sigma x minus x bar whole square upon n or sigma d x square upon n as i told you d x square or sigma x minus x bar whole square upon n or sigma d square upon n so this is the formula any of these 
d x square is a square of deviations. What deviations you have taken out is square of these deviations that is known as d x square or d square and n is the number of items. Now, we will take the example to make it clear to you. Example here individual series the example is 3, 4, 6, 7, 10, 30 this is the x given to you. Now, what you are supposed to do first you have to take out mean and then take out the deviations from mean and then take out the square deviations right. Take out the mean take out the deviation from mean and then do the square of deviations. So, x you will copy down like this this is 10 sorry this is not 30 six, 3 4 6 7 10 this is given to you 3 4 6 7 10 and then you have to calculate x bar. Now, sigma x this is 10, 20 and 30. So, this was written here as 30 right the total sigma x is 30 and n is how many items 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, 30 upon 5 is equal to 6. So, x bar is equal to 6 this is actual mean of the data given here. Standard deviation as I told you the formula is here sigma d square upon n when you have calculated mean that is 6 over here first you have will take the, take out the deviations x minus x bar 3 minus 6 is minus 3 here you will not ignore minus signs sigma d x is minus 5 and number of items are 5 and assume mean is 7 right. Now, the formula standard deviation is equal to this is the formula same formula written down here. Here we I have not written d x whether you write it or not this is understood. So, d x square upon n minus sigma d x upon n whole square whole under root. Now, sigma d x square is 35. So, in place of this write down 35 n is 5 number of items n is 5 then sigma d x sigma d x is minus 5. So, write down minus 5 n is 5 whole square then if we simplify it 5 7 is a 35 7 and this will become 1 7 minus 1 is equal to 6 under root of 6 is 2.45. So, this is standard deviation simply the values are given here take out the deviation from assume mean do the squares of these deviations and apply this correct formula put the values after doing the total of these two columns put the values and get the calculation done. Coefficient of standard deviation is standard deviation upon mean because we are taking deviations from mean. So, 2.45 in this case we have taken 7 as assumed mean. So, it becomes 0.35 here yeah, it was 0 0.45.